Okay, Bob and Viv, this is like reminisce. You guys take home a lot of this big purse money on these big, big races. Viv, how do you feel and what did you think going into the races tonight? Well, I feel great right now going into the race. I didn't think we could beat Master Sean. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you had to be impressed with the speed duel up, that, up the stretch here, the long stretch at Sportsman's. Do you think that made the difference? It didn't hurt him any, but I was afraid his post position and, and when he left and took off, he was so far back. I didn't think we had a shot. I really didn't. Now, Bob, when you're buying horses and you're training them and you bring them along to a big race like this, what did you think about today in, in just preparing for the race? Well, uh, this colt's been real good all year. He's win half of his starts, and uh, we didn't break him till uh, the middle of summer when he was a three-year-old. And he raced uh, four times last year, and uh, we raced him, I think, around 20 times this year. He's win half the starts, and uh, we raised him, bred him, raised him, and uh, he's kind of sentimental to our heart. Uh, he's, uh, <clears throat> we just kind of pepped him for this race here, because, you know, it's, uh, as a four-year-old, there's not too many stake races for him to go for, so we kind of pointed him for this race here. You're a Hall of Famer. You've won a lot of big races. Ramblin' Willie, I guess, is both of your claim to fame. But does it ever get old winning these big races? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> the, the excitement's always there. Yeah. It's great. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.